Okay, let's take this uh, D Reg. So I guess it's uh, either 1986 or 1987. Um, Land Rover 90 V8, genuine county station wagon. This one, although it has been subsequently repainted to look like one of those uh, Fire and Ice limited editions. Um, take it for a spin. I'm quite impressed with this one so far, actually. Ignition light and oil light come up properly. Starts well. Starts nicely hot or cold. This one. I've just done a few miles on it, and it's performed really well. And it feels unlike most V8s that um, are quick if you push them, shall we say, well, by Land Rover standards, quick if you push them. This one seems far straight out of the box, basically. I know it's got um, an uh, Edelbrock manifold and what looks like an Edelbrock four-branch, uh, four, um, four-barrel carburetor on it instead of the usual um, twin, uh, twin SUs uh, with a sort of a big pancake filter on the top of it. But um, I'm surprised that just those mods give the... Uh, give the engine as much pep as it has. I suspect it may have had more, but until I go through the history, I can't really say. I know we've got a massive amount of history with it, but um, it absolutely flies. Picks up smoothly throughout the rev range. There's no sort of uh, odd um, balking or anything like that. Um, drives really well overall. Showing 143,000 miles. But engine starts nicely, there's no misfiring, hesitancy, flat spots that I can find, certainly no overheating. Temperature goes though, just getting moving actually now. And as I say, it feels really much more lively than a standard V8 ever does. away seamlessly there in fourth, into fifth. Minimal backlash in the transmission when you back off sharply. Just a very slight clunk, probably from the, uh, the output shafts on, these, on this gearbox. So no heavy thumping or clunking or anything. It just drives really nicely, it steers properly, it's not wandering all over the road. It'd be nice that chap gave us some room. Um, brakes nicely, it just does everything nicely, basically. Struggling to fault it one way or not. Got a rev counter there which works. A couple of extra gauges, a vacuum gauge down there. All the instrumentation in front of me all works properly. Speedo fuel gauge, um, temperature gauge and um, voltmeter. That yellow light you can see flashing occasionally is the low fuel warning light. No sink rush problems on second. I must admit you don't tend not to get them on this gearbox. But no, it drives really, really nice. It's not prone to the occasional fluffiness that the, um, the standard setup has at low speeds. It seems to pull hard throughout the range. I don't know if it's just the, uh, the carbon manifold setup that's different, but um, I'd be amazed if uh, just that makes the difference it has. Yep. 
entrance. Sounds great. I can't go too fast because there's a car in front of me. But overall it's splendid. I can't really fault it to drive it. It's absolutely lovely. That's about it I think. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353. We're in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info.